Hi everyone, this is Candy Johnson. I am your host and this is Real Talk, brought to you by Real Raw Records. Today's uh, topic is where your heart at. And I know that's incorrect English, but um, it's meant to, it was purposely uh, written that way and I'm purposely pronouncing it that way uh, because where your heart at is basically realistically a question that quest, uh, you know is uh, soul searching uh, type of uh, question and in order to to really do a realistic soul search then that will require for us to be real and in real life people say yo <laughs> we don't say your you know and from that and, and in real life people pronounce things fucked up all right <laughs> or incorrectly okay in real life people don't uh spell things correctly or in real life we don't use correct grammar all the time all right so the topic itself uh requires that we uh first have to be uh cognizant of what's what you know what's real you know um and we have it requires first to, to, to first and foremost, be real, all right? Um, online here, I've noticed that, you know, you have a lot of people uh, arguing and debating about things. And on both sides of the spectrum, when I see people arguing and debating about things, on both sides of the spectrum, what I've noticed a commonality be um, amongst all the people debating is that both sides that are arguing or if there's more than one side with politics there's different parties and all this uh, but in that regard all the parties are not being real okay and people that are arguing here online, whether it be about religion or politics, they're really not being real with themselves, first and foremost. Um, and, and you might say, Candy, but well, why you said it that we're not being real with ourselves? I'm going to explain that. All right. What I mean by you ain't being real with yourself is that um when people indulge in certain things um they do it because they care about something all right now so i'm not saying that you're not being real because you care about something what i'm saying you're not being realistic about is how much you care about certain things and how far you're going with it, all right? Not being realistic, okay? In reality, when it comes down to politics, for example, uh, you have all these different parties, okay, in politics. And each one of these groups uh, or campaigns are uh, set up to so-called represent a certain party, all right? They're supposed to be representing uh, a particular group of people that say, okay, we agree with these politics or we agree with these issues and we have the uh, same or common um beliefs as far as 
how this particular issue should be governed or not governed and so forth. All right. But realistically, and this is why I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty of why I say that you're not being real with yourself. Realistically, I don't care what party you pick. There are going to be some things about that particular party you chose where your representative that you choose, even if they were, even if you were uh, to dominate the um, government as far as your voting is concerned and your um, person were elected into office, realistically, that representative is not going to be able to control the governing factors of our society or of our uh, country, all right? And, and this goes for people in other countries as well, all right? But realistically, here in, U in the United States, no matter what party you choose, all right, they are not going to be able to change the whole government to suit their political beliefs, okay? So this is why I say people are not really being realistic with themselves because a lot of people get into politics and their judgment of different uh, uh, parties or people that uh, believe in or um, politics differ, differ from theirs. They are very aggressive. They uh, lose friendships. They um, uh, get into arguments and, and, and I've even seen people threaten other people's lives. Yes, y'all, I'm telling y'all, if you haven't experienced it, please know that just because you haven't experienced it, that does not mean that this doesn't happen. All right. Uh, I've, I've seen it. I've seen people literally threaten another person's life. People get into physical altercations concerning a um, political uh, disagreement. Okay. Or concerning uh, who's in office and who should be or shouldn't be or who did what in office and so forth. All right. And, and yes, it is ridiculous. That's my whole point. Because people are not being realistic. And that's what causes people to be ridiculous <laughs> to begin with. Uh, even in, in religions, uh, people are not very realistic. Okay. If they were to uh, really think about uh, what it is that they believe in, um, if I said they were really thinking about what it is that they're choosing to believe in um, religiously wise, um, they would come to a realistic conclusion that there uh, a lot of people's belief systems uh, have a big hole in it, okay? Because there's some element of it that does not make sense, okay? I have found that out with all of these religions. And the main thing that I find that's really uh, fucked up about religion is that they all require you, or I say most of them require you to worship one person over another. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this particular religion, but um, someone posted a video the other day, and uh, it was about this so-called religion that uh, supposedly um, you can heal yourself with your mind. Perhaps somebody can tell me in the live feed that live feed is 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 rolling on YouTube 
And perhaps somebody can tell us in the uh, live feed uh, what religion that is, but <clears throat> there's a, a belief system that was created by this guy that says that you can heal yourself through your mind and body and meditations and so forth, okay? Now, I, I myself don't just believe that, but I know for sure that there has been evidence uh, and research done to, uh, to get this evidence uh, that uh, you can heal your body uh, with your mind, okay? And it's been proven through cancer patients and such. But of course, people in the politi politics that want to make money off of raising, you know, want to keep raising money for cancers and, and so-called terminally ill um, diseases and, and defects and stuff like that. They want to make money off of that. Uh, so they won't um, let it get out too, <laughs> uh, too far before they start banning um, the publication of information concerning wholeness and mind healing, okay? Because with mind healing, um, there isn't much that they can charge you for uh, because you're doing it yourself, okay? Um, and so, you know, just providing you with information on how to do the mind healing, once somebody tells somebody and somebody tells somebody, uh, via word of mouth, then it, it, you wouldn't need the doctor no more, see? So that don't go along with the plans to, um, to uh, make money off of consumers that pay for high medical benefits, or expensive medical benefits, okay? And, uh, medical plans and stuff, all right? Uh, their practice would diminish from a billion 